Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Time video. So, um, today I'm gonna do a little different video. We're in John Mode and have a stock 2016 Camaro Super Sport. And, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to drift. And now this is gonna involve your e brake and your clutch if you drive manual clutch. If you don't wanna do that, go check out that video. It's somewhere on my channel. But as you can see here, little rev, and take off. Oh, all the way. And most cars, usually first, second, or from second to third gear, I do e brake entries. You can take most of your stock cars that has probably over 300 horsepower, rear wheel drive, and can drift them. I'm not gonna do that now. Just stop now. Now, in a minute, I'm gonna grab like a, another drift car, but I just wanna show that you can drift a full stock car. As a clutch and e brake. Most of the time, you can power your way into a drift. I'll try to get a good sense of that right now. And just by hitting throttle. Sometimes it isn't the prettiest, but. Are we going for style? No. So. One thing I'll. And the reason why I'm at the Surfers Paradise parking lot is because I feel like that's the best place to learn. You have stuff you can hit, like the telephone poles and stuff like that. But it's a lot better than going on the street and messing up and having all those other obstacles that won't just fall and break out of your way. And, um. I'm also gonna do a little street drifting in this too. But right now I'm gonna go a little distance and kinda show the way I normally end to the Surfer's Paradise parking lot. So let's say I'm just. cruise along. Ooh, about to turn to go up here. Drop a gear. Flip the brake. Happens quite a bit with oversteer. Then transition. And now, to make this real and not clickbait, <laughs> which I hate clickbaiters. Now, I'm gonna do a run in this car, and then I'm gonna swap to one of my drift cars. Probably 240. Just built either. Either one. Now, your clutch should be, if I'm correct, LB. And um, right here, that's clutch, manual with clutch. And then A brake, don't alter controls. And uh, you're gonna have that. Entry. You want it. Floor it and hit your clutch. Just tap it. Make sure that you can hold it just right. Which most cars, second or third. Same thing. Clutch. And you'll power right. Oh, you pedal. Now it will a lot of power for a couple seconds, but can be figured out. Oh, e brake. Teach them how to drift. A little better than ever. There we go. Now, power entry. You got your decent power car. Just turn full throttle instantly. Don't baby it either. And with a little bit of an e brake just to help. Now, you are going to find stuff like that will happen to you. You need to just, and always. It's right, you go left, and it'll transition back. It's right there. It's helping right there, and then I'll transition back. And then, you, if you want to keep going that way, you just hold your wheels. I'll try to... I need, hang on, I'll get up here where I can... I where I got it to do it, but... When you want to hold it left, you can. It'll help really turn, but if you don't do it right. Like, just happen. Now, with the with a drift car. Now, tuning a drift car, I'm not that good with. I know you want a little bit of camber and toe, I think, out or in. Um, where your front or is basically where the like top of the wheel and the car and rear is sticking out. I don't. Know. But real fast, I'm gonna swap. 
And yes, I am spending my own money for this. My own in-game cash. I am going to show a couple drifters I have built. Um, also, Horizon Edition's really, really good if you're wanting to learn. Um, I don't know why I didn't grab my Corvette, but... Alright, Ford. I have a Mustang. I'm not going to grab... I might grab it. Another Mustang. Now, your older 90s cars, you might be able to tune a Miata or something, but drift car that I always found works for me is a Nissan 240. Not, and a lot of it, too, is in tuning. You don't want to overdo something, and I've learned, and I've, and I've just kind of learned to not mess with anything. Or is it? Okay. I have a Mazda right here, my MX-5. Drift car built. Kind of drift car built. No, that's not to represent Nicole. Miata, Nicole Z's Miata, that was just one I, I originally was doing a cheap challenge, like cheap car challenge with one of my friends, and decided to do that, and I thought after that fully build it, not putting on doing a build on that yet, but, I mean my Silva Spec R Horizon Edition, and these three right, that one is still a work in progress, I haven't got the saving, the up the tune for that one yet, but, we're gonna grab the, um, and I'm going to show drifting in it, just so it can be kind of helpful. And remember, rear-wheel drive is your biggest friend in drifting. You can try, you know, all-wheel. This car, second, and, or third and fourth. It's really good. This isn't kind of suit drifting, I'm just kind of... Don't just let off. You always want to keep on it for the most, for the best you can. It's right there. E brake. Clutch. Kind of. Now that we're in a tuned drift car, here's what you kind of want to do. Same type of thing. This car you can power in real easy. That was a little bit of an e brake, won't lie. This is third gear in this car, which is kind of easy. Just like that. Now, like I said, A and your clutch is help. Now, let's say your lower RPM, probably second gear, you're going. Clutch and full speed. Clutch and full throttle. Shift up a gear. Because if it's messing off it quite a bit, that's the sign you need to shift. But if it's on, you gotta say it and deal with that sometimes. I've yet to match that, but like I said, that's when you just come to the surface spread of Spark and and learn. Hardest part of sometimes doing it is like right here. This is an unintentional lineup. You wanna drift? You wanna instantly take off in a drift? Full speed. You don't know your drift. So I'm even less left first gear. You kind of need to. More drift, more you first. But right now is a no. Like, I need a little break to get to film some other video like this. Just a power takeoff. Have a little roll. Big blood. Or, okay. I'm gonna go out on the street now. I guess this is gonna get some of your street portion. Um. Let's see him. Clutch isn't working. You break and help transition. Now we're gonna drive over to phone in the roundabouts. E brake. I've learned to use my e brake a lot. So I used to be I used to only clutch a lot because I thought the e brake was weird, but got time I've learned e brake. 
said, fourth is good gear. Sure. It's my max, but... Any shots? Try if you know down by and you'll find some of the smaller ones. Because bigger ones can screw you up quite a bit. The one right there is you're going the highway. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for learning. Right now it's decently sized, but... The brake. Clutch. I'm just holding it. And right here. What's up? Okay. I think third is about perfect with this car. And see, all it, I think most of my entry was just power. And around by having more trouble. Hit clutch, you real spin. It's just all in your holding it out. You need to get a little tighten. Start to break. Tap your back a little bit. Don't, or don't, because that'll cause you to spin out, but kind of catch. I didn't use that pun on purpose. That's I was getting the Use them as little e brake lines. I think I don't, I can't tandem, them, and I'm not gonna go in and until I can. I'm not gonna go into a detailed video of how to tandem drift. I had a tandem on accident with somebody. I'm not proud of it. Let's see, if you wanna learn how to e brake drift, you see one of these corners right here? Just hit it real fast and it'll slide right in. That's right, and that's left. And a lot of it is timing too. Around 50 or 60 miles per hour is probably the best for hitting your e-brake too. I wouldn't reckon probably about 55 actually. Now rain, inexperience will screw you up. It also still messes me up. That's a mean thing right there. Right here. Now, a little. Now, in rain, it could be your friend, other than the view. So you come in interior. It does mean just tapping my brake a little bit. And a little bit of the power band coming in, but. It's just regular brake. Let's come out of the power action. You have a bucket list challenge Go away, Anna. nearby. Would you like me to set it okay, up there for you? Now, I'm still in a little bit of practice on this part. But like use your brake, your regular foot brake, your stopping brake to uh, help in drifts. I'm still kinda learning on that one. Let's just go in with e-brake. Here, you know what? I know it'll help me really. It kind of helped me demonstrate. Now, if you're wanting a street drift, come down kind of Byron Bay and go up here or come Yara Valley. See, I'm going to go probably about right here and just drive down this road and kind of show it to me a little bit. Now, as we're loading, I would cut this out, but since I'm running this as a little bit of a live stream, so I can record, it's kind of how I have to. Alright, let's see where my road is. Okay, so I go. Let's go third. Power. Set my clutch. No. Um, Timmy's old. Oh, uh, you can kind of manji your way in just by left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left. However, I'll do it right here. And that's mixed in with power, too. Again, I'm nowhere near a perfect drifter in this game. But I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I thought I would. Overshoot, I use my regular bait to help. 
Like you tap it just a little bit to kind of help angle your way in and kind of lose a little speed if you need it. It's a, this big corner should be just about perfect to help explain. And I lose it. I'm, I'm not that good. Right here, I should do perfect. Honestly, I'm still in practice on the foot brake, too, so don't try to take that seriously. You can try it. Do it a lot. That was a me mess up. I'm kind of playing a little bit because I'm kind of in a drifty mood. This next one, come on. You gotta hit it. Yeah, a lot of this now is just me spinning out because I'm getting a little too anxious. But you can use your foot, your just brake to help angle you out of a drift. Just try it. Or enter, slow down through it, or whatever you do. Hold about third gear and try to run this. I don't want no one coming like ten oh are you cycle drifting? I'm not that good, I will want no one coming and saying that. I can also see like bottom of my screen either. Oh god. god. What roads are not my best, I swear. We're on this road and call it it, but I mean, much e-brake, hit them just right and you're going in a drift like right before you're trying. Lower RPMs, help. Let's go third. Slow down. Just tap that clutch with power. With your gas. And you'll hold. Or you break it just about any high RPM. Do is good if your clutch is not working. I have a lot of that with the break, but okay, I gotta run this. See, this is just what I'm doing with e-brake too. I may do a video soon going with like a um like a highest skill rank or something or highest points or whatever. But anyways guys, I think that's gonna be about um I hope this video did does help. I'm sorry it is so long. Um I can't explain things in short periods of time, especially a lot of that was me trying to shut break and I felt like I wasted a lot of time there and I can't cut that out, but I feel like I didn't do bad on this build. Other than the spoiler, but I didn't build this car. I'm actually thinking about doing a video of building another 240 just like this. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like this. If you uh, like this video, okay. Okay, ruin the outro much. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. Um, if you're new to the channel or you have been watching and haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in another Gaming Time video.